This week we're going to show you lots of great ideas with some fantastic techniques to get delicious salads on the table every night of the week if you want. I'm not telling you you have to have salad for dinner every night, but I do want to give you some really delicious ideas and you can use these recipes all summer long. Today, tuna niçoise salad. It's a classic salad, French, very fancy. We're just going to give it a little bit of a twist by roasting the potatoes and the tomatoes together instead of the usual, which are raw tomatoes and boiled potatoes. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 450 and then cut your potatoes, pound and a half of potatoes into quarters. These are new potatoes, so they're already quite small. If you cut them into quarters, they roast more quickly. And at Everyday Food, we're always trying to find ways to make things cook more quickly. At 450, if they're quartered, they'll only take about 25 minutes to roast. Once you have them all cut up, you're going to put them on a baking sheet and get them into your 450 oven. That's what you want to start doing first. Okay, then just make sure that they're all in a single layer. They just cook more evenly that way and they get more golden and delicious. More cut surface on the pan means more golden deliciousness. And then two tablespoons of olive oil, shake it around. Ah, forget it, just use your hands. Sometimes your hands are the only tool that is gonna do the job properly. It's not chicken after all. Season with salt. 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna make my salad dressing. I need a couple of things back here. A couple of lemons and some white wine vinegar. I'm gonna make this in a jar because I like having extra on hand first. Lemon, a quarter cup of lemon juice. And then to that, add a quarter cup of white wine vinegar into your jar. That can go straight into your mason jar. And then a cup of olive oil. That's a lot of olive oil, but remember I said this makes about a cup and a half of salad dressing, which is way more than I'm gonna need for this salad. But I can keep it in my refrigerator all week long and use it for salads later in the week. And then season it, salt and pepper, of course. This is a little bit acidic, this dressing, because it's a half a cup of lemon juice and vinegar and only a cup of olive oil, so I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, two teaspoons. That just helps balance out the acidity in something that's super acidic, and then just shake it together, and you see, you get quite a bit of salad dressing, and I'm only gonna use a few tablespoons. I think it's time to add my tomatoes. Okay, so 15 minutes, potatoes. Add your tomatoes two pints, shake them around so they're all in an even layer, and then back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. Use your time wisely. While the tomatoes and the potatoes are finishing cooking, you can clean your greens and get your tuna and olives ready, and then you'll be ready to assemble as soon as they're done. I need a half a cup of Kalamata olives. They usually come in a brine, so I just like to spoon them out, and that way the brine gets left in the jar to protect the remaining olives. These are pitted already, so I don't have to pit them. Yay! And then two jars or two cans of tuna. I'm using jarred tuna. If you're using canned tuna, it's totally fine. Whatever you like, drain it. You can get it in water or you can get it in olive oil. That's your choice too. I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting it out of this jar. That's okay. It'll be worth the struggle. And then just put that in a bowl. That's fine, we're gonna take that back with us later. I have a bunch of arugula that I need to watch. Arugula can be very, very gritty. The baby arugula that comes in the little uh, clamshells, not usually that bad, but you should still wash all of your greens every time you use them because you never know what's gonna be on them. And then just continue washing them in as many um, changes of water as you need until there's no grit left in the bottom of the container. I like to do this right in my salad spinner. Sometimes that takes up to three or four changes of water. Spin, spin, spin till it's really super dry. Sometimes if your salad spinner is overcrowded, it won't work that well. So you might need to take some of the greens out of your salad spinner and do it in batches. That's what I recommend. Because it is really important for your greens to be dry. Pour off the water that came off of the arugula, and then you can just put your arugula in a big bowl. For this salad, we're using arugula, but you can use whatever kind of greens you want. Use your creativity. I know you have it. Time to assemble the salad. This is my favorite part where I get to put everything together. The fruits of my labors are being realized. Potatoes and tomatoes are done. Voila. See how the tomatoes have a little bit of bubbling and brownness and the, t and the potatoes are nice and golden brown? That's how you know they're done. So this is like a unique flavor for niswa salad, which is usually a little bit fresher and brighter. This is a little bit more deep and intense, which is nice sometimes, don't you think? I like to change it up, and so should you. I have my arugula, I have my tuna, I have my olives, and I have my potatoes. I like to arrange this all on a really beautiful serving platter, and then people can combine things together however they like. 
I'm gonna dress my arugula. That's the one thing I wanna make sure gets done for everybody because I don't want people overdressing and when you drizzle it on top of something on the platter, it's hard to toss. So I'm doing that in a bowl. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then toss. It's, it's important because if you drizzle the dressing on your greens when it's already on the platter, you won't be able to toss them, so it won't get nice and coated. And then straight onto your platter, right on your platter, on your serving platter, then your tuna. This really nice tuna needs to be broken up a little bit into pieces because it's in such beautiful big chunks. So it's a little unwieldy to eat if you don't break it up a little bit. Then your olives. Just make this look as beautiful as possible. These things should be gorgeous and appealing to the eye. That's what makes salad so beautiful and enticing and fun to eat. Last but not leastly, the tomatoes and the potatoes. This does make a lot of tomatoes and potatoes and a lot of arugula. So you may not be able to fit them all into the tray, but leave them on the side and people can have extra when they need them or want them. That's a dinner salad. So beautiful, don't you think? It's nice, it's rustic, it's summery, it's delicious, it's filling. I love it, and I think that you're gonna love it. And it's so beautiful, don't you think?